welcome Flip Clock fans. Today, here in Flip Clock Fan Studio, this time of year, I found myself asking why today. Uh, why do people collect flip clocks? No. Um, why do I have so many flip clocks? No. I found myself asking why. Why would anyone make a flip clock shaped like a beer barrel? And I have no answer to that. The only place I've ever seen this thing was on eBay. You see it's uh, got a spout that uh, maybe it was for a bar or something. Or I, I do remember when I was a kid they had these uh, root beer barrel candies. So I don't know if it's related to that in any way. But uh, here we have it. A flip clock that looks like a beer barrel. And here we have it in Flip Clock Fan Studios. Where we're going to take a closer look at it. Kind of catches a little bit there, but it flips just fine. It, it keeps time. Well, it's a little dusty here and there. There's our nozzle, and that does not move. Of course, I tried it. Um, it is an alarm clock, so alarm on, alarm off. There's our label. We've got uh, two screws in the back that we're going to have to take off. Well, of course I'm going to take it apart. I always take them apart anymore. I'm not sure exactly why, because I really doubt that anyone is ever going to be looking on YouTube for how to disassemble a beer keg flip clock. Now this I know was rocking back and forth earlier, so I'm pretty sure, yeah, we can just pull that up. There may have been some uh, more prominent tabs on the top there at some point, but it stays in there just fine, and it's going to allow me to clean this up. So we're just going to try to get this apart, and uh, as with any clock, I take my time to kind of get a feel for what's going on. I don't just run right into it. Uh, a lot of times on the videos, I don't show you uh, me doing that. I don't want to look too ignorant, but on this one here, I'm showing you. I'm just, I kind of feel it out. I kind of try to figure, okay, what's holding it in? Because, like I said, I've never seen one of these. Don't suspect I will. So, obviously, this uh, alarm thing here is uh, stopping the clock from being disassembled. It looks like I'm going to have to pry that off. I can't get a good grip on it. Again, you know, when you're dealing with a clock you've never worked with, you really don't know what's going to happen when this when you do these things. Just try to not be in a big hurry. Always waiting for a big unexpected crack. I don't think so. I think I've loosened it up here to where I can get a hold of it. Okay, well there it's off. So now we should be able to separate the halves of this uh, beer barrel still getting a little resistance it's at the top okay looks like uh, there's a tab on the top there that uh, was holding I think if I push down on the top of that the back top of the back side if I push down I'd be able to get it out but, uh, so we've got one screw holding the whole mechanism in well, the other screw that held the beer halves together was uh, serving to hold the mechanism still as well, as you can see there on the right. So we lift right out. It came out real easy. And we've got uh, kind of a bulky mo motor mechanism. And we've got a neon glow bulb there. It's got some some time on it. So someone used this. They get that blackened look after a while, but it'll still work flips just fine so uh, nothing really to do here it'd be easy to replace this bulb at some point if we ever want to and disassembly I mean reassembly here is going to be pretty straightforward that's uh, it's probably just glued in there that little thing I think I can go ahead and just wash it all up as it is 
So we end up with a nice pick and span Sunbeam beer barrel flip clock. Thanks for watching. When you get the time, come visit us at flipclockfans.com.